Hi right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars where a clown has just come in and caused, well, major devastation and we're playing as a new character. Not sure who this is, but we're not uh, Nicolette anymore. So uh, can we, I don't know if that's to go down the road. Let's just, um, well, I guess have a look. We were going to pick this up, whatever this was down here. We saw this in the last episode. Oh, it's a newspaper. Ah, oh, let's have a look at this. The column was devoted exclusively to rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Okay. Uh, the big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. What's this? I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. Well, that's uh, the, a place and a time then, isn't it? Uh, right, how do we quit out of this? How do the we big, go... The guy... How do we go back? Uh, the leading article... How, how do we... How do we... How do we go back? <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there, guys. Sorry. Uh, all right, let's have a look around. So we've got the newspaper. We've actually kept that. So maybe we're going to need... Oh. I considered straightening the table... But I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Okay, yeah, probably probably for the best. Can we go in here? Apparently we can. All right, well, let's... You might want to not be in here, to be honest. This place might not be very safe. Let's have a look. What's that? Mirror. Is that a mirror? I hope the fact that the mirror was already broken meant I'd escape the bad luck. There's no such thing as bad luck, don't worry. Ooh. The mirror is smashed into a thousand pieces. Bad luck for someone. Poor guy. Huh. Oh, he's behind here. Okay, let's just see if there's anything suspect around here. No, it doesn't look like he it. He was pretty mashed up. So this was the guy who wanted to meet us, wasn't it? He was pretty mashed up. Yeah. Well, to put... <laughs> it's not a very nice way of putting it, is it? But yeah. Can we look at the body, maybe? The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. That's probably what we would expect. I mean, who are we, though? Are we, like, another reporter or something? I guess we're going to find out in sort of all in good time, but... Ooh. I needed a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. Yeah, I'm not a big brandy fan myself, actually. I needed a stiff drink. Okay, you won't pick that. I up. hated the taste of brandy. Okay, anything around here? No, let's speak here then. Oh my head! Never again! How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. <laughs> Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh, oh, we can do like a good or bad thing. No, let's, let's be good. No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Okay, well, we can do that. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. <laughs> I guess a little drop won't hurt. Oh dear, no, not like that. <sighs> That's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. <laughs> she works here, doesn't she? Oh, oh. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have hey, let her drink that. Wake up! She didn't respond. If I wanted another cappuccino, I'd have to serve myself. I don't think we're going to be having a cappuccino anytime soon. Uh, okay, well, we only have the newspaper in our inventory so far. I've noticed some of the dialogue lines sound a bit echoey in things than others. I wonder if maybe some dialogue lines were added in for the director's cut, and that's why they sound a bit cleaner. I could be wrong on that, but it is a, a difference I've noticed. So we can go down there. Let's head over this way first, though, and see what we've got over here. Right, there is definitely something here. We can go down wherever that is. Uh, anything further along? No. So, 
Should we go down here or down here? Let's go down here first, because this was the first place that we saw. Huh, look at this guy. <gasps> Please, hold it whoa. Right there. whoa, 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 whoa. Don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. <laughs> I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. Go ahead. En avant, to the cafe. Marche. You just come from the cafe. You don't want to go in there. It's a mess. Look, see? What I told you. Mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead? Moo? Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he seems very Examine dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. Back to hey, question? Yeah. To business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess so, apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in <laughs> the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Indeed. Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Huh. Why? Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Uh, we did indeed. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Yeah, a clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. Yep. The picture is forming in my mind, <laughs> and it is not a pretty one. <laughs> I love this is guy. The girl all right, Moo? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. What? That's odd. Don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe? I wonder. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. Ah. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. So do I. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. <laughs> Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Okay, so we've got his card as well. What an eccentric fellow. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? <laughs> if the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. <gasps> Look! Look who he is! It's Nicolette. Right, let's speak to this guy. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Sure, yes, sure. sure. Uh, right, let's, let's talk about some of these things, I guess. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. no. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go home and try to forget. Uh, what okay. is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Do Americans say that? I honestly don't know. Um... Why is our invent open? Can we show him? I found him? this in the street, Sergeant. That, monsieur, is a newspaper, no? There's a note written on it. Salah Eddin, 1345. Ah, 
Ha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, <laughs> in my life, monsieur. I'm sure. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah Eddin the clown? I don't think so. Hmm, all right. Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You're confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifice. <laughs> okay, fair enough. See you later, Sergeant. Right, let's head, try heading down this road again. So we should be able to go down here now, right? Because I just, I just wanted to have a look down here, and then we'll maybe talk to Nicolette and hey, see you. what's going I on there. I thought you'd been arrested. No. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, I thought that was it. Those automatics spark quite a punch, you know? I'm sure. He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Uh, let's ask him some questions. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Well, <laughs> did. I could have knocked his block off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we can ask more about him. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah. Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. <laughs> I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. All right, well. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. <laughs> yeah. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Th th seriously, how has nobody seen this clown? Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. Pretty sure He'd that's illegal. Trip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. <clears throat> Why have we given him the newspaper? Bah, look at this. Damn bleeding out liberals. <laughs> yeah. Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Can't eat nah, dolphins. That's more like it. Look at the size of those. Oh. Like champagne bottle corks. God. No? Ah, what's this? <laughs> Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. <gasps> it's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning, she is. So, it's a horse running at 145, I'm Do guessing. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. Oh, nice. So he's off somewhere then. He's going to do a bit of betting, which means we can take his tools. And he's even letting us, ha us have them. It's not even standard adventure game protocol where we steal people's things. <laughs> Amazing. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. That was uh, quite a dramatic bit of music um, for picking up an item. <laughs> oh, what? Is that like a... No, it's not a, like a tire iron, is it? Hmm. I'm sure we'll figure it out. There's a door here. What does this do? Let's have a look at this and then we'll head back into the main square. I Set think. into the huge gate was a smaller access door. Can we... The door was securely locked. I don't suppose our new little tool opens up the door. No, it doesn't. Right, we also can't follow him that way, so we have to head back this way now. Right, let's speak to, to um, Nico and then we'll go down this little alleyway. Sorry, can you stop Excuse walking? Me, mademoiselle? So the characters have met already. I wasn't expecting that. Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. Huh. 
Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? Yeah, he's dead. Couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account, minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. <laughs> you know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? Yeah, it sounds it's a clown. Crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. She'll believe it, though. Clown. It's him again. Right, let's talk to her about all of these things. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. <laughs> How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. How, though? That's the question. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. <laughs> have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. He is weird. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Okay. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. Nice. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on some with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. And then she walks through us. <laughs> All jokes aside though, I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's very, very good. So, uh, police don't think I had anything to do with the explosion. Um, a very cute photojournalist called Nico Collar. She works for the newspaper. Anything on the next page? <laughs> she did give me a number. Okay, all right then, guys. Well, we'll leave it there for this episode. I think we'll um, head off down and check this area in the next one. Uh, so that does it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons: Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the videos, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.